doesn't. That's an unopened door. Oh. Antler says you are the one killing my kin. Antler says you must die. Okay. Damn. He hits hard. Yep, he's crippled. Wait a minute. Just end him with my throwing spear. One more. Yep. Antler, I failed you. Oh. Goodbye. Never mind, he was a good soldier. Whoa, bumper sword, what's that? Sandler. His legs fucking broke off. So he was coming from here. Nope, that's not a room. That's the room. Let's go check it out. Who is this handler? Maybe we can find some cool backstory. There's a room. What's this? Whoa. Hello. Oh, uh, one more thing, guys. Uh, I have just played up to the Rapecon first floor in my first playthrough. So whatever I'm doing now, it's, it's just as new as a beginner. I don't know what's behind that door. I don't know who's waiting for me. I don't know anything. Okay, let's just save. I hear footsteps again. some notes or some backstory I could find about this handler it would be great but 
Is it the trap door? Nope. Oh, what's this? What is this? Hello? Who's down there? What's it do? That's none of your business, smooth skin. Jason was very clear. Get rid of the demons, then report back. He didn't tell you to poke around down there. Got it? Let's well, this seems fucking... fucking dangerous. Rockets? I mean, is the creature any meaning the cleansing of all humans or making them cows as well? Climb a ladder to Mojave Wasteland. No. We'll just make my way through here. So these cows were the bad guys. These super mutants or night kings were the good guys, probably protecting the what can I say? Probably protecting the rockets from these cows. Is this handler? I guess. Let's get the hell out here and talk to the that Jason about this rocket scenario. What's this rocket all about? What's up with you? Go bother Jason, smooth skin. I don't like having you around. Stay away from me. Uh, you are a human as well. Well, never mind. Yep. Is the way clear? You're referring to Chris. I doubt you had much luck if you tried telling him that he's human. We had the same discussions when he first appeared and the same lack of success. He believes he is one of us. Soon enough we realized that Chris was a gift from the Creator. He is integral to the success of the Great Journey. Praise the Creator, and bless you, Wanderer. The way is clear. I will lead my flock through the basement to the sacred site. I hope you will come find us there, Wanderer. There is much to be done. Let's go. Oh, he's walking way too fast. Oh, the dress changed. I don't know what's all this about. Hello, can someone explain? Wait, am I crippled? Yes, I am. Damn it, that's why I'm walking slow, slow. 
walking so slow. Right now this feels good. I, I think he's not willing to launch the rocket or something. I think he's he just wants everyone to every one of those gowls into the doing uh, one. Yes. I waited to speak with you one last time before I descended to the launch pad, Wanderer. I want you to know that we will remember for all eternity how you delivered us to the threshold of the great journey. Our preparations are nearly complete, but the rockets that will carry us to salvation are yet missing vital components. If you would still help us, Wanderer, speak to Chris. He can tell you what is missing. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Yes, the rockets will convey us to our promised land in the far beyond. Vision upon vision has confirmed it. I understand your concerns, friend, and I thank you for voicing them. But the Creator's will for us has been made manifest. After all that you have done for us, I suppose you deserve... When Chris came to us, we tried to convince him that he was human. But this only angered him. He seemed... lost. We decided to let him stay with us for a few days, over the course of which we learned that his technical skills far surpassed our own. It became clear that the Creator had sent him to us, to ensure the success of the great journey. Equally clear was that Chris should labor in blessed ignorance of his humanity, and his inability to make the journey himself. It is no coincidence that two humans have been vital to the success of the great journey. It is my belief that the Creator sent you, and Chris, to expiate the sins of your kind against mine. Such is the Creator's will. Vision upon vision has shown me that, were Chris to accompany us, he would die in minutes. The radiation around the launch pad alone would kill Chris in minutes. The radioactivity of the far beyond is much stronger. It is the Creator's will, and I must submit, there is no malice in it. We would take him with us if we could. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. You're... Yeah, it's good enough. Jason says that I am to cooperate with you on the final tasks necessary to launch... Obviously. It's taken months, but I've nearly got them in working order. Soon they'll take us to the far beyond. I was skeptical at first, of course, being a man of science. But Jason is certain. I was close to completing work on the rockets before we were driven into hiding on the top floor. Two components were missing. A quantity of isotope 239 igniting agent and a set of thrust control modules. The igniting agent is highly radioactive and decays quickly. That's why we can't use the drums that leak down on the launch pad. It's no longer potent enough. I need you to find an intact, shielded container of the igniting agent. As for the thrust control modules, they were custom-built for these rockets. They won't even launch without them. Very well. We don't need a huge amount. Two to three liters should be enough. Now, where would I find this? Hey, give me tips, bro. Repcon has been ransacked so many times by scavengers, it's hard to know where the components might turn up, if they turn up. Jason has mentioned some industrial ruins to the east that are supposed to be highly radioactive. I'd start by visiting local junk merchants or traders and see if that turns anything up.
All right. Scavengers wouldn't know the value of the modules just by looking at them. If you okay, then time for me to Late. go later. See you later, alligator. Now let's begin our journey over there. Let's go. So first of all, it's not that bad actually. The these goop wait a minute. Howdy. Oh my God! I was just going to shoot him. He just looks like a convict. You guys, this is like a convict. So uh, the guy, that Chris, he believes in something, and the person who who he believes in wants his good health by not letting him get getting killed in that area, irradiated, poisonous hellhole. So I think it's good. I won't uh, tell Chris about this. What Jason did. What Jason uh, hide Gibson Scrapyard. Hello. Hi there. I'm Old Lady Gibson, or so they tell me. I've got <laughs> odds and ends for sale, and I'm pretty good at fixing things too. You might have noticed the very large building just north of here. That's Helios One. The NCO. As it so happens, I do have God some damn it, 500 models, cats. but they're expensive. Lady killer. I know I'm not young and pretty anymore, but I appreciate the fact. Whoa, she just Here, gave me for free. Take the parts, you flatterer. She just gave me for free. What the hell? She's such a nice lady. Just had to. Praise her a little bit. Oh my God, she actually, she actually looks good. She actually gave me those parts. That's that's great. Epic. Now where was that cutter from which I exited? I need to find that. There it is. Have you found the components we discussed? Indeed you did. And they seem to be in excellent condition. All I need... I'd start by visiting local junk merch. Late. Let's see. Oh, they gave me a marker. Nice. I thought I, I would have to ask around. Let's see where I have to go now. Over there. Let's go. Let's go. This actually works. I mean, wearing the Caesar's outfit has, I mean, totally reduced the attack of those raiders. I mean, just think about it. If I am searching for those components and fucking an army of Caesar's legion people, assassins fucking attacked me out of nowhere, that would be fucking disturbing. So unless and until I have got some good gear, I'm not taking these out. And unless and until I have some quest with the NCR, because if NCR sees me in this dress, they would start, start shooting me. Because of this, I can't even stop at NCR fucking 
check points they have to walk and walk and walk and walk and walk and and I kill this kill this fuckers on the way okay geckos whoa the color is different let's see let's see the bumper sword what's this all about Gecko. My god, there are a lot of young golden geckos. I shouldn't have come here. Oh my god. You have now radiation poisoning. Okay. Then my health is also low. My health is also low. I don't want to be killed by some fucking geckos. You know what? Geckos killed me. What? Really? Oh my god. This geckos really killed me. Damn it! Damn it! This geckos killed me. What? What more could happen? These young golden geckos killed me. Damn it. So, not to sell, don't mess with geckos. I am thinking just if these geckos are so tough, what what will the death claw in this game would have in them, the power of them. Let's go. So guys, I, I will be using vats now. I will be breaking my... I forgot what is that? Swollen... Sworn oath of not using them. Condition in this shit fucking sucks. Whoa, what's with the who's that? That's another gecko. Thank god, this game gave, gave me a fucking hazmat suit. Oh, he has the igniting agent, Mr. Radical. Oh, quick scope. Let's see. Love the suit. Can scavenge anywhere now. Screw the rats. I hear I christen myself, Mr. Radical. Get it. Suit passed first test with flying yellow colors. One night visit to Yuka Mountain didn't go too deep because something big moving around further down the tunnel at right level high, even where I was. I didn't feel it didn't go. Rare suit go. Vomited all morning, didn't splash on suit or I would be pissed. Was exciting. Ran across all moments. Fabric for blowing container for measly 50 cap. Heading for Crabfield food suit at higher air levels. If it holds up, I am going to pop this jar of goop open and pour it all, all over me. I bet I could swim in this stuff if I had enough of it. Oh, yeah. Stupid boy. Got killed. Anyway, this suit seems cool. 
I will be taking it. Sorry, Mr. Red. You know what? Let's go and check this place out. Wait. Radiation. Okay. You know what? Yeah. Let's go check this place out. <laughs> 